yeah, back out. This time, I might have bitten off more than I can chew here. Uh, oh, we're going up there. Bukail Etiv Moor, or Stob Jag, to be more precise. Uh, it's lovely here. I came last night. In a car camped, but I came late, so I couldn't go up late. Well, we're going to attempt anyway to go up there. It looks really dodgy. I've been up before, but I went through the valley and up the back of it, and then I came down that way. So I know it's, um, I know it's got steps to come down, but. I can't remember because I only had a day pack on. I've got a good big massive pack on today. I'm in the bog of terror here, like bog of flipping death. Straight away, come off the path. Alright, we'll see how we get on. Here's the iconic White House. There's an advert on TV. I'm not sure what it's for, but they go past that. That's behind it. Might have bitten off more than I could do here. I'm not feeling really great. Felt a bit ropey. Had my second job, didn't I? And it's making us feel a bit. Ugh. My mouth's been dead dry. Yeah, we'll see. See how far I get if I turn back. No, no spoiling. No camping. No camping. There she is, the mighty shepherd. Doesn't look that bad from here. I think it looks worse from over the road. I'm just sitting. I'm just sitting chilling out. Sitting, not rushing up here like there's people going past, but they've only got day packs on. One bloke tried to lift me pack up, he couldn't, he couldn't move it. <laughs> He's like, you must be mad. Any voices over there? Yeah, 500 meters left to the top of there. Getting my breath here and then cooling down a bit as well. It's really it's muggy in this valley. I'm assuming it's gonna be breezy up the top. Cooler. Shouldn't have drank them um, cans last night. This is water off the river by the way, not sweat. It's a mixture of both. This is called the path to the snow gully of death for obvious reasons can't think what them reasons are oh it's steep it's steeper coming up than it was coming down there's people following us with no 20 kilo packs on i'm gonna let them get past just taking my time here like i don't want to kill myself it exhaust myself But it's nice though, nice day. It's a little breeze just to keep the midges off. That's perfect. Right, up there. I've got 500 meters left. I'm at 400 meters now. The views, eh? I hope I can get some views from the top. Forecast's cloudy, but it should clear up later on. So fingers crossed. How do you cross your fingers? This bit's a bit sketchy. The path runs out. On the map there's a dotted line, and then there's no dotted line, and then the line comes back. And I'm presuming that's this bit. Just come up there. That's just a bit of a scramble. 
but there's no path. There's no marked path, you can I clearly see it. If it goes that way, so we'll just head that way. Always look ahead. Oh, we're getting there. It's only quarter to 12. I'm gonna be up by one o'clock. And I have a bit of explore on the top leg. Gotta to go to the summit. Can't come up here and not go to the summit. the Charlemagne Gap back on the marked path now you just come up that's a little bit sketchy from there to here Whew. there's fit people coming about 300 meters left probably not taken by everybody I'm just sitting here chilling out like I'm not rushing up here I feel knackered there's nobody else with a big pack on anyway, so I think I'll probably have the place to myself tonight. So we're just going to go up that path there and then just to the right in of the snow gully. Just in between, that's where you come out. Looking forward to that bit. Right. Back on the path. Just come over there. Let's turn into a bit of a ridge of death. Come far from the snow. Line. You need your wits about you here. Of course, we're going up there. Scramble of doom. Let's have a look. I think the path goes to the side. I can't have to just go straight over the top of it. This is the tricky bit. I suppose you could go up there, but it's a bit scrambly as well, a bit loose. You better off just head straight up. That's what we'll do. I think I'll turn off camera because this is pretty. You need three hands for this. So after coming up this valley, that last bit was really dodgy. It's like a proper scramble. Over the other side of there. That's the top of Stob Jag. I've been at the top of there before. I might, I might wait until later on. There's a lot of people. I might get set up and then go up. Look at this for a pitch. Booch. It's perfect. It's not perfect, but you know. You've got decent views. It's all about the views. That's the other side of the buckle. So this whole thing is called Buckle Ed of Moor. That's Stob Dob or something. I'd have to look on the map. I've got a, um, a viewer who lives in Singapore. Something about cooking with fish. So I said I'd give his daughter a shout out. So Safi, get out and do a bit of wild camping. You know, it makes sense. <laughs> and that's why I live in Singapore though. I think I'd rather be here. Oh, we're gonna get set up. I might have a nap. Well, after that, there we are. Set up. I think it's alright, it's a good pitch. Look at the view. That's my view up the door there. Eh? I'll be looking at that. Thinking about going up there later. Plenty of time. I just want the crowds to disappear a bit. Overkill. Overkill. But considering where I am, the weather can change here really drastically. You just come straight through that valley there and up. There's no shelter. So, you know, best be prepared. 
so that was the walk was um it's just like your normal lake district walk i mean it was steep in parts but the last bit was like oh you gotta hang on the last bit was really hard especially with a big pack i'm not looking forward to dropping off there tomorrow i have to really take it easy i remember going down it with a day pack on i thought the lad that was in front of us was a madman <laughs> That was just a day pack. All right, so I'm gonna uh, get me stuff together, mat, sleep bag, all that. Just get set up and then I'm done. So, just had a little catch up nap. I didn't sleep very well last night in that car. The sun keeps breaking through. It's amazing. That little slight breeze is just right to keep the midges away because there is some it dropped before and we came I'm gonna get up on the side of there oh a drone would have been amazing up here now bummer should have bought a drone not the world's most pointless tent <laughs> I just had the kettle on there no fantastic cookery today, just this fire pot, posh pork and beans, smells alright. The problem is, you've got to wait 15 minutes, 15 minutes for that to heat uh, to thingy up, be ready. Usual mayhem in there. Good little spot. Oh, I was tired coming up, like, after coming up. Knackered. Oh, when this one hits there, you never know, we might get a nice sunrise, sunset, well, a sunrise to be fair, and there might be some stars, some mighty mountains over there, right in the far distance, I don't think we can make them out, I think they must be, like Bidin Nambian, I don't know the names, Ben Nevis, right, uh, big, might be like you. My only concern is going back down there tomorrow, dropping off that, that first bit where you drop off is really sketchy. I was pulling myself up there, so going down with the big bag is going to be a bit unsettling. No choice though. I could go back that way, but that's been miles to go. We've got to go right over the top of there. And then down the other side to the, you see where the valley is? That's where you come down. And then you end up in the valley over the back here. And then it's, and it's about another five miles from there. It's a hell of a walk back. Anyway, we'll work it out. I'm sure I'll be all right. Everybody else is going back down that way, so it can't be that hard. There we go then, I've had it. Fire pot, 510 calories. I could have done that this morning. Alright, I could uh, put a bit more water in it. I think it was a little bit crunchy, it looked like a dog's leavings, but it was alright. It's spicy. And I'm having this juice Forsyth, lovely this, you know, from Morrison's juicy bonus fruited IPA. It's only five percent, but it's um, I'm just drinking it there. It had the taste of peach, you know, like a nice peach flavor. Mm. very refreshing only problem up here you can hear the road noise the 82 is really busy motorbikes and loud vehicles still people going up there I was thinking about going up myself a bit later on head torch isn't working but no it's the blue sky this could turn into a very good trip well, it's already a good trip but you know what I mean Pork and beans. Right. Just go for a little walk. Um, see the tent there in the foreground. I remember when I walked from that side and down. There's a video online. It's just um, it's just called when I walked the 
book off. I don't know, I can't remember. But I remember coming here, this bit, the grass, all the grass and everything. This is another um, pretty good potential location if that place I'm at, if there's somebody there, you could come here. And you've still got these views. Ah, there's loads of places to pitch up here. And, hey up, there's a water source. Something like Andy Beavers there. Hey up. <laughs> no offence. I wouldn't fancy drinking that like I have brought my filter. I should have filtered some when I came up. There's plenty of waterfalls. <clears throat> There's the snow. Aye aye. Could always melt a bit of snow. There's not much left. See what's up here. There's another water source here. Oh, look at this, man. It's a lock. It's lock out of more. There's loads of water. I think I might be coming back here then. I could have used this in the dehydrated meal. All the midges would have bulked it out. Weird place, isn't it? I find places like this eerie. Like, you know, there's nobody around. You just hear there is people behind us, like, but we'll keep them out of the camera shot. Let's have a look over here. This looks down into the. Um, it's not. It's not Glen Etive. It's another one. It's the other one on the other side. Where I walked through the first time I came up here. Ooh, it's a hell of a walk. It's quite about five miles to the base of the where you start climbing. It's down there in that valley there. That is Ben Nevis. Massive, isn't it? So you walk through this valley of death and you come up the side of there and then you have a choice when you get to the when you get to the um the oh, what do they call them you can either go to the right which is what you're meant to do and then come back over this one down and then up that one that's the walk people looking as if I'm mad filming please ourselves Let's just have a look, let's just take all this in. I've actually walked to the end of the valley as well, right at the end, past the past all of this. And um so you can walk all the way along there and you come out at the back of Glen Etive. You come round the back of these and then back along Glen Etive. And then you come back behind there. You come out on the road of death and then back to wherever you parked. Let's get some photographs. So here's that water from the tarn, or the locking, whatever you want to call it. Looks quite clear to me. It looks fresh water, that. It was deep as well, that um, thing was quite deep, deeper than I thought. So let's see what this filter's like. There's a soya, soya squeeze two, or whatever it is. Good. This is a ball egg, mate. Let's stop it and see what it looks like. That smells like water. See, but right in the distance, there is my little tent. Just above them, little patches of snow. There's one, two, three. A third one, just look up from there. There's my tent, all on its own. So, I decided to come up to the top of Stobdyag, G 
Jag. You get a really nice view into Glen Etif. It sounds mad down there. There's loads of shouting, yelling, loads of people camping, pitched up. It's turned into a bloody campsite. I suppose it is quite attractive in that river, and that you can plunge in that river. So, as I was saying, this is the view that I didn't get. I was cheated of this view last time. Robbed. This is the summit. That little summit can. Oh, and what somebody's done. Can you imagine what goes on in people's heads? King's house in the distance. A couple of lads just came up the front there, the curved ridge. We might be doing that, like. It looks scary. You reckon it was alright? Uh, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not, what do you call it? Convinced. Ah, oh, it's amazing, the like. like. The weather's just amazing. Really, really scored for the weather. You're quite sad because you think, I'll never do this again. But, never say never. I said that last time, I said that first time I come up, that I probably would never come back. And here I am, six years on. Turned back now, back in my tent, which is right in the distance. Let's have a quick glance around before I go. There's still people coming up. Look at it, man. Not sure if the camera's picking this up. There's the sun out. Now I've took that traffic cone off, I'm going to go and recreate one of my happiest moments. This is an original video where I find Jim Top on. Same top on. <laughs> Who says I don't make things last? That was six years ago. If you want to go and check out my video, I'll put a link in the description to the video where I walked this the first time. It was mad. Right, I'm gonna go. I need a beer. I'm at least half an hour away. It didn't take as long to get up here, like from there. Looks a long way, but it didn't really take long. Well, just chilling out now. I'll come down off there. Somebody else going up there. He's called Kieran. Hello, Kieran. Remember chatting? Nice chat with him. Probably don't watch this. Like, I'll oh, send him the link. <laughs> Make him watch it. You will watch it. There's loads of flying things up here, like them daddy long legs. No ticks so far. Touch wood. Not many midges because of the breeze. But I'm just chilling out now, half seven. 
absolutely so relaxing up here there's a couple just walked past here they came the event stood right on the edge of there and he's saying to me he says which is the way down i'm like oh my god that's the quick way down if you want but the way down is that way so i showed him where it was it seemed all right it's not too bad i found the way down the proper way down isn't the way i came up so i'm not too worried about that now <clears throat> so i must have went off to the left of the path coming up and i should have stayed right but i was avoiding the snow but apparently you walk just over the side of the snow oh. there we go part of me wants it to get rough but I don't at the same time i don't want to miss this <laughs> so what i do personally when you get up the top of a hill loosen your boots off right and loosen them off and then just wrap the laces around i've done this for years i might have shown this in one of my early videos but and tie it tie it tight like that and then you can just slip them on and off with ease with ease ease all right so loosen them off it's for when you're like diving in and out the tent you know you don't want to be have muddy boots everywhere and they're a bit there's a little bit damp up here but, you know there you go ease they come off with ease top tip from the world's greatest bull oh dear so we're all set we've got um smash and grab eight percent double ip i've got two of them and something gets 16 percent mm. nice man i've got me mexico street mix that's lovely don't know me like that sort of thing but that's really nice it's spicy as well got stone roses on i can't play the stone roses because they're absolutely shit hot on copyright if you have a little even in the background like a, a minute like well not even a minute like a few seconds of stone roses music bang they're on it serious like but i've got the album full of gold that's it just chilling out sun sets late here like late as in about 10 after 10 o'clock remember last night um just when i was parked up in the lay-by it's like 11 o'clock at night it's still light so i'm not sure what the sunset's going to be like if i can film it i will but i don't know and the stars as well i don't know if the stars are going to pop out because obviously the darkness is it's not going to get too dark We've got like 11 o'clock at night by about 12 it'll be dark enough and then you've got four o'clock in the morning sun comes up so you get four hours of darkness four hours of night lapse is about about nine seconds so <laughs> yeah we'll see we'll see hmm it's not about that anyway it's just about being out enjoying this living in the moment like this is absolutely fantastic really really good and i'm not too bothered about going back down tomorrow either because i found the, i found the proper path so yep i'm just gonna put the stone roses back on and chill out okay put some stone roses on i've just got to come and say it like i'm sitting here so chilled out the stone roses taking me back to another time just another absolute world out here look look at this you know what cheers scotland you're incredible absolutely incredible mm. i've really missed this place i think it's been about three years since i was last up but that's just listening to the um the stone roses there the music's amazing man ian brown is a genius he's just a genius everybody knows ian brown right oh hang on a minute is it um 
is at this one. <laughs> Everybody knows Ian Brown. Ben Nevis. He's got a little hat on. Cloud hat. One day I'll camp up there. I think we're doing a bivy up there. Just picking the moment, isn't it? Krill, Krillist. Ben R. Krillist. Or Chryslet. I don't know how to say these things. Apologies. Apologies to all my Scottish friends and Scottish viewers for my pronunciations are terrible. Will I go to Wales? <laughs> I'll be banned. But yeah, hats off Scotland. You've done it again. It's so good to be back. Mm. Back to the music. going to be a long video this like but you know what I don't mind if you can watch it all the way good if not just skip it I'm just looking at the um, sub count I'm not a sub counter like I'm not, I don't count my subs if if I've got one or a million it's all appreciated people watch me daft carry on you know watch me daft videos these are for me to watch when I when I can't do it anymore, if I get that far, you know, when you're sitting in the house and you think, oh, wish I could do that, put the video on, and you get all melancholy, but it just shows, you know, you can just get out and do things. Cheery, aren't I? <laughs> This is the best comp I've ever done. I'm not joking, this is the best, bar none, because it's just been so absolutely lovely and relaxed. It's been midges, right, but nah, minimal. I've got that skin so soft on, so they're not biting. They're irritating, but they're not biting. I mean, look at that pitch. That's a stub jag. I'll put a photograph up of the, um, when you first when you come into Glencore and you see that pointy mountain, that's that. That's that mountain right there. And I was just standing on there before, you know, with a traffic cone. Can you believe somebody put a traffic cone up there? Anyway, I'm rambling. This is the longest video I think I'll ever do. And I've changed the settings on my camera, so it shouldn't take long to upload, really. But I'm going to put the camera out. Um, I'm going to put it out over there with the battery pack on, night lapse. And we'll see if we can get some stars over there. That's the west, we want the north here, but look at the cloud. A lot of, a lot of clan McLeod. So it might be better putting it over there and get some stars popping out. But it might be, it might be too uh, bright, so what about over there? I won't get the tent in then. I'll have to put the camera on the edge of death to get the tent in. I'm not 100% sure about that. I might, might set it up over there, pointing over here. Uh, that might be a good idea. But don't be surprised there's no night lapse because it's really not a lot of night sky here. Don't forget we're very far north. Right, oh, the beer's gone. I've just had some um, noodles to warm us up, so I'm going to put the camera out and then I'm going to get in, evacuate the midges, evict the midges, and then zip the yellow bits, the inner. I'm going to leave that door open. And tomorrow, we'll see what tomorrow brings. I'm still not happy about that uh, drop of death off there, like, but I'll be alright. Be alright. Right?
So I hope you've got this far and uh, for all the subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. It's very appreciated. Like I say, I'm not a sub counter, but it is nice that that many people click on the channel. Enjoy what I do. I mean, I enjoy it. So, don't think it's not appreciated. Because it is. All one word. Because it is. Right, that's fair enough now. <laughs> things. You have people up there already. It's not even seven o'clock yet. Time to people get up. Coffee's on. Oh, it's stunning. It's red hot. A bit of condensation because of the temperature drop last night. But it's dry enough nicely. Big moon out last night as well. It's waning moon but it was massive still. Lovely sunrise. That was a bad. And that's it. So they can have a slow pack and then head down. Oh, I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm meant to be doing a second night, but I don't know if I've got the energy. So I'll feel when I get to the bottom. So I'm just gonna have this and just chill out and enjoy this scenery. Well, I'm packed up. I'm so sad. I've got to go. That's my pitch there. No trace. Leave no trace. Let's do up here. Got everything. There's some massive big black things flying around. I don't know what the hell they are. Right, it's off down the path of terror. The cars, it's only like one and a half miles, but what a one and a half miles it is. It's very exciting. Now oh, let's go and do this. Let's turn this off. Need to concentrate on these paths. But that was my pitch. Right there. So I'll just come back off the over the back of there. Down to this path. This is the drop off. This is a bit I'm not looking forward to. Once you're over this bit though, you're laughing your way. It's definitely sketchy this. I'm not just saying that either. This is really dodgy. I'm gonna put the camera away as well. I'm not filming myself going down here. I need to concentrate. Use all your experience. camera away. This is dodgy. Well, I'm here at this point here, there's back, back on the path, I'm just coming down there. Sketchy. Not technical or hard but the bag was trying to overbalance us. So I'll just be wary. Now we're heading into the valley. 
should be down in uh, what about an hour hopefully still a bit uh, still a bit sketchy in places yeah so I don't know if you can see that lady there climbing up the side just come down it's all right with the day pack because you can scramble about but with this big mass backpack every time you touch a rock it just tries to throw you over it's dodgy that like that's why i didn't film it's not recommended to be fair like i'm just going to drop off the edge here now you always think there's no path but then when you look across there is i think i'll be stopping the filming soon because this is a long video well i'm nearly back there's a the car just over there that's Ben Al Creolist. I don't know. I've come all the way down off her. Uh, last night I went up there, camped there, down this path, all the way down here, and boosh, I'm here. I'm absolutely creased. And people going up in this heat. I hope they've got plenty of water. They all look really, really hot already just at this bit past loads of people they're yeah, friendly people like if you're watching this hello hi how are you hope you had a good day took me advice Aye, so it's just a little hop past the white house across the bridge of Tara to the car of doom the car of sanctuary oh I can't wait to sit down <laughs> I'm knackered like but I'm apologizing for this video being so long but I don't care. I'll watch this for years to come because that was one hell of an experience. I thoroughly enjoyed that. I'm putting that up there with the best camp I've done, like, especially last night when it got all spiritual. <laughs> spiritual. Spiritual. I had the, um, the stillness, the sunset. Oh, it was just amazing. And the location as well. The, the light on them mountains. The camera can't do that justice. You have to see it to believe it. The whole mountain just turned bright red. All that side. I think it is red rock anyway, but when the sun hits it, oh, it's beautiful. There's a lovely stream coming down. I've just had a good splash around in the water. Just to cool off. And I've got some stuff to get freshened up at the car. So once I've done that, then I'm off. Um, we'll see you for the next one. If you got this far, thanks for watching. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. If you want to subscribe, jump on. It's all just good fun. It's nothing serious. Apart from that first step of death at the top of there. That was pretty serious. And that's it. I'll catch you later. Just as a uh, final point of interest, that's where I was standing right on the top with the traffic cone. And if you count, there's the big long snow gully, and then there's one, two, three, four spots on the very top. That fourth spot is where I was pitched. Mad this road, all in all, good camp. Look, it's like I've parked in front of a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> what's the chances of that right well that's it i'm definitely finished now so i'll see you on the next one